We are gathered here today to celebrate the life of Communication 101. Communication 101 was born on Monday, August 20th, 2012 at 10 a.m. She entered the world in the presence of 19 students and with the help of one course instructor. Although her 16 week life was short, she lived every day to the fullest and she was devoted to her purpose of teaching 19 students not only how to face but to conquer their fears of public speaking. We all know that Communication 101 could be high maintenance from time to time, perhaps more so than our patients could bear. But in the end, she taught us lessons that were invaluable to us. And I would like to share some of these lessons today in memory of her. First, she taught us the importance of using signposts in our speeches. When speaking to an audience and telling them something, you must first tell them that you are telling them something so that they know that you are telling them something. Next, she taught us the importance of using vivid language in our speeches. For lunch today, I did not just have a bowl of Campbell's soup. I had a steaming bowl of mouth-watering broth that filled the air with sweet aroma and with each spoonful, my soul sang melodies fit enough for God's own choir of angels. She also taught us the importance of shaping irrefutable arguments in our speeches. When convincing you that Communication 101 taught us lessons that should be celebrated, I should not mention that her book cover was very nicely laminated. I, oh, if I were convincing you otherwise, I should not mention that her father, Steve Short, has forehead. I should not also say that Communication 101 helped me to speak confidently, which helped me to approach Liam Hemsworth when I saw him at the mall, which then helped me to land an audition for the next Hunger Games. And you are now looking at the new Katniss Everdeen. In all seriousness, although Communication 101 was difficult at times, she still gave us lessons that we are going to use for the rest of our lives. We have learned how to craft intelligent, articulate speeches that can inform, persuade, or entertain. We have learned to capture our audience's attention with strong eye contact, gestures, and dynamic speaking. We are better speakers because of her. So let us not mourn, but celebrate the short yet impactful life that communication Juan de la Cruz once said, they are like the sun with words. They can do for the heart what light can do for a field. So in memory of Communication 101, let us go out and shed light upon 